Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we'll take a look in two separate videos at two things that are in the delivery optimization of Windows updates. Uh, the first one that we'll look at, so in Windows updates uh, you have different ways of getting your updates and of course they all have to do to uh, relieve the strain a little bit on the Microsoft servers if possible and of course um, there's kind of a system that's kind of a peer-to-peer -peer type system where you can also share part of your updates with others on the internet but the thing is if you're limited bandwidth maybe you don't want that so if that's the case then what you want to do is make sure that you select the correct option go into settings Go into Update and Security. In here on the left side, you will see Delivery Optimization. Now, everything in here has to do with how updates from Windows Updates actually download and how they, uh, from where they actually the bits of all the updates come from. So you can actually click. So by default, it's on. It says Allow Downloads from Other PCs. There are two ways that this can be set. PCs on my local network, PCs on my local network, and PCs on the internet. So what's the difference? The difference is that if you choose PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet, that means that when you get Windows updates, you're getting updates that come, so the bits from that update come from Microsoft, come from some other computers. If you have multiple computers on the same network at home, that actually have the same version that have updates to download the same update uh, the bits can be shared between the computers in your own network but pcs on the internet also that means you're getting bits from other users of windows on the internet but at the same time you are also sending out on the internet bits of the updates to other pcs so that of course will use some part of your bandwidth for the internet so by default, and I actually do that, is I do allow the downloads from other PCs, but only on my local network. If you have more than one PC running Windows 10 and I get the same updates, this is good because that means that if you do this, it's going to be instead of having, for example, say you have four PCs running Windows 10, you have four PCs that need to update with a download that may be an example say that the Windows update that you get is 100 megabytes. Well, if you put this at off, you will have a total of 400 megabytes downloaded because each PC will get its 100 megabytes from Microsoft servers. But by having PCs on my local network, one PC might download the 100 megabyte and the rest from that PC will be shared among your other PCs inside your own network. That means the download from the internet will be only 100 megabytes. So it's going to be less of data. So if you have multiple PCs, I really strongly suggest that you turn on PCs on my local network. But I, you know, don't suggest that you use the other option PCs on the internet. And of course, if you have only one computer, turn this off simply. You don't need to use this and you'll have only the update from Microsoft servers when they are available and that's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.